Hi, and welcome to Andy's Let's Plays. Today we're playing Terra. Hi guys, we are actually going to pick right back up here with episode number 146 of Andy's Big Sorcerer Let's Play. First thing I'm going to do is campfire and charm up again, just so that we're sort of topped off. Um, we only have two minutes left on our previous charms, so we want to be able to keep going here. We got a Greater Keen charm, and we need at least a Greater Infused. So there we go. That's uh, that actually takes care of it. That was surprisingly quick. All right. So oh my God. Okay, what the heck? Apparently we just spawned one of these guys by killing that spire, which I didn't know could happen. But that's okay, we'll take him out. Bam. Alright. And then I also want to try and take down that big guy if we do get the chance. So... Let's go after that. Okay, so apparently I couldn't quite reach him with that first spell. That's okay, though. Ah, uh, uh-oh. Okay. He wandered into our spell. We will, we will blast him. And let's get a hailstorm going. He is a good bit more durable than other enemies. And he hits a little harder. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, we actually had to kill that guy for the quest, too, so that, that works out well. Alright. And we will kill one more of these. I think that the killing the spire and the spawning of that one frog master were actually just a coincidence, so it's kind of like, I don't remember exactly what it was last time that happened, but that's happened to us before. Alright, the Argonomorph, Loki, and Archers are down there, and the Blood Fiends are up here, so let's take out some Blood Fiends as we go back to turn in this quest. Um, and then we can go kill some Archers as well. Bam, bam, bam. Wow, Blood Fiends were already pretty freaky. Now that they're Argonomorphs, this is just... It it just doesn't stop getting worse. Alright, let's try to get them quick. There we go. And drop a Hailstorm in their way. Slow them down a little bit. Good. Okay. There we go. Shield back up. Grab our loot. And here's one more. Hopefully we can hit him. Yep, looks like he's aggroed. Nice. So we only need two more of those. We'll, uh, we'll probably duck into this big... Uh, big area that's marked all yellow on our map as we head back to the camp here, and we should be able to find uh, some of them in there, so we'll just avoid the frogs. We've killed enough frogs. I feel a little bad for killing frogs, because in general frogs are pretty cool, um, but these frogs are evil, so it's totally justified. Alright, let's, uh, let's see here. Oh uh, yeah, yep, here are some some blood morph things. Blood fiends. Alright. Blast that one down. There we go. And that's our six six blood fiends dead. So we can now head back uh, in this way. We also need Sidal Pylon Wreckage. So that's over here. Okay, we just got aggro from that guy. But we'll just avoid him. I 
and so we need to kill side all pylons. There we go. There's one. Um, two. That should take care of that one. Three. Wow, we need six of these things? Jeez. Okay, four. And... Where are some more pylons? Ah, here we go. There we go. Six pylons. Wrecked six pylons. Good. So now we can head back to camp and turn in these quests. Hopefully avoiding pulling too much more aggro in the process. And then we will head down to the south, I guess. We gotta find Ronald at this next base and also um, kill the Loki and Archers. So let's turn these in to one of these and Toads. There we go. Suspicious pylons. Good. Uh, and then two of them here. Good. And good. There we go. Alright, so that uh, that got us quite a bit of XP, I think. We we're up to uh, 41 million, putting us just about a quarter of the way through level 59. So, moving along nicely. Alright, so our, our archers are down here, kind of by this base where Ronald is. So this works out quite well. I'm just going to duck across here, aggroing frogs as we go, and hopefully find the archers to kill. It's kind of nice that you're getting fewer and fewer enemies to have to kill um, as we get farther along in questing. Um, it just makes it seem like it's going that much faster. And in a way it is, because um, even though we're getting less XP for quest, only like a million instead of 1.4 or 1.6 or more. Um, it still makes it seem like it's going faster just because we have to kill fewer enemies to complete a given quest. And then we get an XP reward, so... I don't know. It's got its pros and cons. There we go. Last one. Nice. Another dead archer. And we can speed cast that. And void pulse him. And there we go. Nice. So we are just blitzing our way through here. Speed cast this again. Get him with that. The void pulse. Another Magma Bomb. Resetting the cooldown on Magma Bomb was definitely a nice talent to take. It certainly helps us to uh, put out a little bit of extra DPS. Alright. We also need to find um, our buddy Ronald, or whatever his name is. There's... that guy did. And before our speed casting wears off, I'm going to try to get one more. Good. Good, good, good. Perfect. Alright. Argonomorph, Loki, and Archers. Down. There we go. So now let's go find Ronald, who should be right here. How you doing, Ronald? Building Mysterium. Find Kupen, who is right here. Yeah, we met. And complete that. Alright, we got Archer. Archer aggro. And let's toast this guy real quick. There we go. I don't know why they bother. Alright, go to the rendezvous site and find Churamon, and also go to that place. So let's first find Churamon. So this should be not too hard. 
It's right out in the open, and then I think we can take this path over to the east to take us to our next camp, uh, which will be good. So, is this the rendezvous site? Maybe? Oh, oh, here we go. Sure, Mom. Howdy. Building a Mysterium. Uh, sure. Take a look at the carriage. Here's the Mysterium carriage. So we will... Oh, the back wheel is stuck. Alright, there we go. Okay, it just took off. Alright. Well, I don't know. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. It was either enchanted to go off to its place, or... Okay, I saw it. Oh, yep, got a love enchanted weapons. Alright, I was thinking... Shoot, we just pulled out an arrow and it rolled down a hill. That was a mistake. But, uh, nope. Nope, that was a good thing. It was enchanted to do that, so... Uh, oh. Wow. Hello. Alright, let's, uh... Wow. Oops. Okay. Let's run over here, and hopefully this is the right way to go to... Oh, this is so weird. We're, like, running on top of water. Anyway, uh, I think there's a camp over here. We've got a quest to turn in in this area, so it better be a camp. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. So maybe we'll get some more quests here. Shooting from the high ground. Keeping an eye out. Alright. Keeping an eye out for what, though? That's the question. Argonomorph, Loki, and Reavers. So that's what we gotta kill here. And looks like they are right here. So we'll try to take down six of these, I guess. Yeah, six. Good, good, good. If only we could pull them all by twos, then we would only have to fight three groups. Okay, they move a little too quickly for an un unaugmented cast of that. Alrighty, let's try to slow him down a little bit. Stupid Loki and Reavers. Come on. Good. We actually managed to hit him that time. Alright, and he is not slowed down at all. Jeez. Alright. We got uh, accelerator boots. Okay. Good. Whew. Fighting these guys is a little crazy. They seem to move around very quickly, so we'll have to try and deal with that as best we can. I want to try to keep them in the hailstorm as much as we can. There we go. That seems to be not too bad, as long as they're taking the persistent hail damage. Um, I don't really have to worry about it all that much. Their speed, that is, since the hailstorm slows them down quite a bit. There's that, and, ah, good, we managed to get a knockdown, that'll be, if anything, as good or better than the Hailstorm. There we go. Nice thing about the Hailstorm, though, is that that extra DPS puts a lot of extra um, speed into killing them. I don't like this type of area where I can't really see my spells on the ground. It's rather disorienting. There we go. That's six Loki and Reavers. We can go turn this in. And hopefully that'll finish off this little camp. Oh, I actually, hello. This needs to be turned in across the way, so... I guess maybe we were supposed to go down here, deal with this first, and then do the, uh... Then do the other quest. So, if we can, we will jump up these, and this will get us back to, oh, okay, that's, uh, huh, this is going to be a little tougher than I thought. 
Unfortunately, I can't jump and then move forward. Which makes it really irritating. I gotta jump, like, at the scene. And sometimes I don't aim quite right. Oh, okay. This is... that's not happening. We're gonna just run up here and around. Because I could waste at least 15 minutes trying to get up that stupid staircase. So... that's not good. Alright, let's see if we can't duck around the end here. And in the meantime, we can appreciate all this lovely blue debris that's flying around in the sky. Look at that. So nice. Alright, uh, here's where we need to go. Looks like the effect of our charm wore off, so I'm gonna need to reapply that once we get, uh, to another camp. I think we need to go check in with Ronald at Camp Insanity, uh, down here on the map, so that's what we will do next after we turn this in, and that should, uh, that should give us a chance to reapply some buffs. So, where, what the heck is this? Oh, this needs to be turned in it. Oh my god, there's one of these Manta things right over us. Alright, I don't know where this is wanting to be turned in. I guess we'll find it when we go around. If we go around the end, um, it's probably on this far side over here, so that's where we'll, uh, that's where we'll kind of keep a lookout for it. Alright, if we, uh, if we head down here, hopefully we can find this camp somewhere. Ah, there we go. It's on this side. Yeah, and we're probably going to get a quest to kill these stalkers, so we'll work our way back up towards Swamp Launch Camp uh, on the far side here, towards the west. Alright. Quests, quests, quests. Okay, three of them from this guy. Good, and always more good. Building Mysterium. Turn that in. We gotta speak with another guy in here as well. Tawangi's in the mist. And sure, Mom, hello again. Uh, speak with Ronald again. What do you want? Many require my help. Okay, meet him at the research site. So that's down south. Now first we want to kill... Okay, well, Tawangis are down there. Wendigos are down there. The Argon construction tools are also down there. So what we're going to do is apply our charms. Let's see what we get. Minor Keen and Minor Infuse. I'm going to try again. Give it one more go. See what we get this time. Minor Infused again. And Minor Keen. Okay, we're going we're gonna to just stick with that. It's better than nothing. So if we head up this way, uh, we do not have a quest to kill these stalkers. But I believe we can get to this field base and possibly get some quests there. So... Uh, I want to complete that before we head south and have to deal with the quests and story quest down in that direction. So let's see what we can find up through here. Huh. One cool thing about this area is all of these like bubbles and stuff like that. It's very pretty. It is a very pretty area. I do like it a lot. Oh wow. Look at that giant flower. That is a nice flower. Okay, here we go. We got a quest here, keeping an eye out. Okay. Hello, thing. Gonna have to have to kill this one. Oh, what is that? That's that looks like a big blue snake. Creepy. Apparently that spell just totally missed him, I don't know how. Okay, there we go. That's dead, finally. 
Will you right. consult with me? Keeping an eye out. It lives. And wild and woolly. Alright, so what do we have to do for it lives? Uh, destroy a Zalgeg coil. And then Tawangis in the mist. We need to. Oh, that's. That's not here, that's elsewhere. Alright. So let's, uh. Let's try to destroy one of these Zalgeg coils. And we can try to take out a Kelba Ripper while we're at it. There we go. There's one Zalgeg coil down. We can turn this quest in at least. And then we need to find what we need to do for Wild and Wooly. Alright, kill Kelba Rippers. And what else did that say? Wild and Wooly. We need to get oversized hydrania's friendly concern we need to kill the stalkers and rippers all right so that we can do and these oversized hydrania's we can gather as well cool this is probably my favorite plant in the game that we've gathered this is a very nice looking model oh okay can't see because there's a plant in my face there we go one ripper down. Another one damaged, but still operational. Two down, good. Uh, we need to get more of these plants though while we're here. There we go. This is going pretty well. These things are much easier to kill once I'm prepared for them rather than just sort of wandering in and letting them attack me. Alright. They're a little tough to hit though, um, when they're moving quickly. Alright, grab that. And let's go... Let's get this guy. I want to use my speed cast while it's available. Oh, okay. Oops. Wrong, wrong direction for that. There we go. That took him down. And we can pick up this oversized hydrania. Good, good, good. It's two out of six. We'll keep gathering them as we go along here since this seems to have a nice amount of them. Oh, okay. That's six Kelba Rippers, good. We can now uh, stop killing those and focus on these uh, hyena things that are over there. And let's see. Our spell is almost cooled down for speeding up our attack, which is good. There we go. Excellent. Wanna. I think that actually triggered on our fast cast as well. I'm not certain about that, but it seemed to cast rather quickly. There we go. It's two of them down. Good, good, good. And we will take this guy out so that we can get to these hydrangeas over here. Oh, there we go. Alright. Hey, somebody, uh... Somebody bought an axe from us. Cool. Alright. We'll gather this Hydrania. That completes that quest. And... Then we will kill off a few more of these.
I will say that uh, since I think we've last fought these in like that mine type area, um, they do seem easier to kill now. I think that might have to do with just being stronger or having better abilities to counter their movements. I don't know. Um, but most of the enemies we come across now, I'm, I'm used to enough that uh, I feel like we can pretty much fight them fairly effectively. With the exception of new ones that we've just never seen before. Um, you know, they, they tend to be pretty straightforward. Alright, turn in this. Good. And now let's go ahead down to the other camp here and turn in our other quest. And then we will go down. I'm going to probably just go check out the collapsed Argon Fortress entrance, but uh, unfortunately, due to time, I don't think we're going to get to explore that area very much, so we'll see what's there. Um, huh, that's weird. Is this a plant that I can gather? Osio plant? Huh. I don't know what this is. I guess there's a level higher than... Uh, than whatever, you know, Toira is, or whatever that one that we've been gathering. Lu uh, I want to say it's like Lumia? I can't, can't remember exactly what that stuff is that we've been gathering. Alright, uh, so let's go up here. And here's the camp. Good. We can turn this in. And then we've got lots of quests here, but this looks like it'll be the last little area. Come to concern. Done. Alright. So now let's go down, see what's down south of here. And we are 28.86% of the way through our level, so moving along pretty well, I think. Hopefully we will, uh, we will have enough quests to get us all the way to level 60. Not in this area, but overall. Um, we have, you know, more story quests, that kind of thing, so... Should work out okay. Let's, uh... Let just blast this one. These poor Tawangis. It's kind of sad that they got Argrano morphed. I mean, they look really cool, but... Tawangis are kind of... They're okay, even though we always fight them. Luria, that's what it is, not Lumia. My mistake. Um, even though we always fight the Tawangis, I kind of like them. Makes me a little sad to see them get, like, turned into aliens or whatever. Hmm. That's weird. That Argonomorph Tawangi is blue. Like, it's friendly. We'll have to go say hi to this one. go. Magma bomb him again, and good. Good, good, good. Hello, Mr. Tawangi. Purge. Must purge. Obey the blue. Interesting. So we can actually talk to that one. I guess it's, uh, it's friendly. Up. Oh. Negotiate. Sure. All right. Uh, confirm. Sure. Alright, we sold the Ardent Overcoat. Or the Overcoat of Ardent Fire. Nice. I don't really, I don't really care what we get for it as long as it sells. Um, in general, it's a good idea to check the merchant just to make sure that you're not selling something for less than you can merchant it for, because I've definitely seen people do that in the past. And I've actually bought stuff off of the trade broker uh, just to merchant it. Uh, because why not? You can make a little bit of money that way. Alright, so that's, uh, that's those guys done. I'm going to go ahead back up here and just turn this quest in. And then next time, we will continue down into the Sky Fields and Collapsed Argon Fortress entrance and see what uh, what is going on in there. So, lots of Argons in this whole area to be fought.
Alright. The one he's in the mist. There we go. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Bye!